Bailey and I are here for her checkup. Why, hello, Bailey. <laughs> are you extra pretty today? <laughs> I can't decide who she looks like, you or Mr. Cassadine. Oh, you know babies. One minute they look just like you, and the next they're a dead ringer for Winston Churchill. <laughs> I'll see if the doctors are ready for you. Great, thanks. Brooklyn, uh, what are you doing here? I hope everything's okay with Bailey. Oh yeah, just the checkup. Look who's here, Bailey. Thank you for arranging this meetup. Yeah, of course. You said it was your last chance to uh, see her before you have to leave, and with Monica working from home today was our best shot. Oh yeah, the last thing I need is another gentle conversation with Monica about my fixation on your baby. As I live and breathe. What are you two up to? How is what we're doing any of your business? Brooklyn! I was just Oh, you trying... just figured because you claim to be my family, which by the way, we've heard a thousand times before, that somehow my business is now your business? Really? Okay, well, it isn't. Maxie and I were just talking, so you can run along. Shoo, don't let my footwear hit you in the butt on the way out. How's my former patient? The doctor is ready to see Bailey. Thanks, Deanna. Excuse me, private family business. Hey, how was Bailey's checkup? My little angel passed with flying colors. So, did I miss anything? Just tragedy. Miss Maxie's leaving as soon as I'm getting settled into town. Best of luck. Yeah, you too. I think maybe you'll need it more than I will. That might be the case. Bye, cuz. I'll see you when I see you. Unless you see me first. Okay, Spill. What does he know? More than I do. How come you didn't tell me he was your cousin? You know, I didn't tell you Austin claims to be my cousin because I don't know if it's true. Quartermains get pretenders all the time. And we all were quite shocked when he made his big announcement, except Monica, I swear, that woman. She's ice in her veins. Okay, well, can she give me a transfusion? Because I'm kind of freaking out right now that Austin's gonna recognize you from that night in the woods. He could blow our whole story wide open. Maxie, we have been over this. Austin was completely unconscious in the woods. He doesn't remember a thing. And how do I know this? Because he's already seen me quite a few times and hasn't made the connection. Doesn't mean he won't. He's way too busy trying to vindicate his late father to pay attention to anything else. Don't worry about Austin, Maxie. It might be a minor problem for the quarter means, but not for your baby. Okay, hurry up and say your goodbyes before somebody sees us and tells Monica. I hate gossip. You live for gossip. Yeah, about other people. Start talking. I know you're not gonna remember this, but it's okay. I will. I'm gonna remember your sweet little face, your tiny little fingers and that brand new baby smell. I'm gonna remember this moment and take it all the way to Texas with me. You know, they say things are bigger in Texas. <laughs> that means I'm gonna miss you that much more, love you that much more, and be your mommy that much more. I hate to do this. I know, time's up. I won't say goodbye to her. I can't. You're a little superhero, you know? You have a secret identity to the world and to you. You're gonna be Bailey Quartermain now. But here, and here, you're always gonna be my Louise. Maxie, I want you to know that um, I promise this amazing little creature will always be cared for and loved, okay? I know. If I had any doubts, I wouldn't be able to do this.